Hi friends, this is Vivek from Gadget Guide for you. In today's video, I am sharing reasons to buy LG G3 and reasons not to buy LG G3. First of all, I share the reasons to buy LG G3. It, it has great design and good quality. Despite the use of plastic, it looks pretty good. As you can see in the image below video. Uh, it is one of the most usable dis device with 5.5 inch display. Loud speaker performance is pretty good and it is brilliant device for listening music. It has better camera performance with the help of laser autofocus and optical image stabilization at the back it has 13 megapixel camera with dual LED finish. A good shift when compared with other devices it can be said that it is a good shift in design for software. LG keyboard looks pretty good as you can see the, the keyboard looks pretty good and now i am sharing the reasons not to buy lg g3 although the display is quad sg but it is noticeably better when comes out with lot of implications and as I it comes in two way and two GB M with 16 GB internal memory and three GB M with 32 GB internal memory. The internal memory can be expanded further by using micro SD card and uh, the capacity of expanded memory is of 20, 128 GB. As I said, the two GB RAM variant is not enough for such a high-end device go for the 32 gb variant with 3 gb m as fear might be due to quad sd resolution performance takes a little bit time in running the apps takes a little bit time there is a lag which quite be which quite be neglected if you are power user then you don't like such lagging and the one of the most disadvantage of LG G3 is the battery life although it packs pretty good battery capacity but the battery life shorts fall when it comes to heavy uses one of the thing I noticed while the call receiving facility is not pretty good the earpiece is not at per the quality of the device there may be some disturbances while calling and receiving the call the voice is not clear on heavy uses with a number of calls up to 2-3 hours and pretty low use of Twitter and WhatsApp and if you are using a camera then the battery falls pretty quick and in a short duration of time you will be looking for to charge it yeah, although the device is pretty good with the quad SD display and laser autofocus camera it is one of the best device available in the market but at a price tag of rupees 48,000 it is it is where some people think about it as they are not getting the better battery life on our device and the call receiving facility is not pretty good there may be congestion or problem while hearing the sound from other side and uh, this is your host week signing off thanks for watching this video do not forget to share this video with your friends